Welcome back to Downstairs and Dragons, where we play D&D in our basement as per tradition. We're getting back into Star Falls with Lost and Finders, so let's see our players. We have Dieter playing Kieran. No, keep going, keep going. Dieter playing Kieran. Josh playing Ixeldor. And Heather playing Bobotomy. You guys are a fucking train wreck, I swear. I'm just drinking. <laughs> Okay. He's hydrating, <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> okay. We're Ready to get back into it. Yeah. We're currently <laughs> We're currently in Star Falls trying to uh, jumpstart the mythal by um, I guess redoing twelve religious rituals that will power the mythal so that you can leave finally. We have how many left? Five left? Yes. So, quick recap. Um, do this off the top of my head. You did a ritual hunt for Solanor. You did a dance of fire beetles in a revitalized garden for Hanali. You, let me see the picture. <laughs> you did. Um, you did three pilgrimages of solitude for what's his name? Why am I totally blanking out on this? Because it's Tarcellus. Tarcellus. That's it. Um, you did, you planted the tree for Rillafade. You, let's see what else. We uh, donated our time. You donated your time to Libelous, thank you. Uh, Kelkakila donated her mind, body, and soul to, uh, Deep Shasalas. There's one more. Oh, that's right. We have two elves down in the catacombs who are dedicating their life of suffering to Norellis, the god of suffering. Um, and that should be it. So now what do we have left? We have Coralon. We have uh, Erevan, we have Vandria, Vandria Sahanin, and Airdrie. Mm -hmm. There you are. So, which one are we going to first? Gorlon? Can you yeah. do me a favor and find the card for his district? It's like the Rula Kalar district. And let's just do a quick recap. We'll read that and we'll head over there. Because it's been several weeks since we heard that card and a few episodes for our viewers. Beyond the city, officials and civil servants, as a Seldarine boasts a large guard and military force. Many town, uh, towers, fortresses, and outposts speckle the city, but report to headquarters and the Rulakalor district. Large parade grounds and training fields are filled with soldiers of many types on a regular basis. Visitors won't be able to find much access to much of the Rulakalor district military space, so instead turn to the museums, monuments, plazas, and sacri uh, sacrifice ritual space for entertainment in the name of Corallon Lartharian. You can find these public venues near to the center of Etta Day Okay, so we're gonna head there. You guys um, are technically allowed to go anywhere you want because there's no one here to stop you. <coughs> so you head through the ruins. I'll pick up pick up my stuff that I put in all that holy water. Oh, that's right. Well, I notice anything different? You know, that was holy water, but I don't see a lot of holes in your staff. They're, they're in between the little braids. Oh, that's really hard. Um, I've never thought about trying to grow a sacred <laughs> flower out of a magical staff with holy water. I am gonna. I'm gonna keep track of the fact that you did that, and when you used your flower spells that I've got right here, we might, we might give it a bonus for the holy water. All right. <clears throat> so I'll write myself a note. But thank you for bringing that up. You have a lovely bouquet at the top of your staff. It looks like what you'd see at a, a wedding or something. Just lots of white and pink and. Okay. So you guys walk towards a big open. Stadium. Uh, it's definitely got big steps for people to sit and view some kind of sacrifice. And you guys kind of wander your way around and look in, and you actually notice that in the center of this arena, on this big stone tablet, there is something already lying there. You guys want to take a closer look? Well, uh, sure. So you guys walk down closer. Um, perception rolls? I mean, do we really need to? Well... I'm just walking up and looking up and... I'm explaining... 
You'll you'll hear in the explanation okay, why you right. need it. Don't question your DM. Four. Fourteen. I got a three. Okay, those of you who got a four and a three, what you're looking at is pretty gross and desiccated, so you're not really sure what it is. But, Kieran, you see the blue bits of flesh that are stained in black dried blood. You see the decapitated head and the ripped, tattered clothing. You believe this is the body of the Oni that you killed in Corlon's armory. Ew, this uh, really rotted quite quickly, didn't it? What, what is it? Yeah, that's the Oni that we... Is oh. that Ogre Mage? How can you tell? Well, you it's, can see... It's it, all melty. Like, it looks like it's all bruised and melty, but like, right here and here and here, it's the actual original skin tone. Ew. Gross. It's a bit of a mess. I dare you to eat it. No. no oh, no. I, I dare you to poke it with your stick. Sure. <laughs> poke it with my stick. As you poke it, not only does it release a poof of gross... <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> We're both in this! Do, do it I, clap. I didn't poke it. <sighs> but part of it moves, <laughs> and you see in the dry blood smears actually um, a few handprints. The handprints are small, like a small elven woman's handprint. Seems someone. I poke it again. Ugh, ew. It's the same thing, ew. but smaller. Why? <laughs> lesser and lesser until it eventually stops. It's a magical altar that creates handprints in messes of blood when you poke the mess. If you poke around his neck, will his head come off? His head's already off. Poke around his. Can we just stop poking him? <laughs> <laughs> well, just uh, for where, where are we? What was this place? This is the Corellian. Corellian Dome. <laughs> Co- Corellian Dome? Yes. You know, like the Glitter Dome. Or Doug Dimidome. What? Exactly. <laughs> you guys are welcome to move on, or you're welcome to speculate some more. Which is it? Well, let's speculate about this, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's I, have I, a good think. I was asking you. I don't know anything about anything. Well, I mean, it's obviously the mythal who dragged this here. That's why the hands are so tiny and uh, feminine, I guess. Well deduced. Yes, I'm genius. We go with something. I don't know if <laughs> genius is quite the right word, but... Uh, so, what do the handprints mean? The place is haunted? Well, probably well, I think just... the whole place is haunted. Probably just that the mythal carried it up and dropped it down there and just sort of smeared her handprints all around it. It was like a, like, like a, a child with finger paints. It, yes, exactly like finger painting. So Gross. that's what we need to do. We yes. need to do finger painting. I, yeah. I don't okay. think that's what we need to do. I'm Isn't that part of some kind of Coralin Larathian? Are there any spots of the practice? corpse that are still wet? No, it's been days. I'm taking off my gloves. Well, we, we can read the entrails, right? Can we can tell our fortunes. No, can you stop. Leave it alone. Just water. What? Water? I just what? need water. 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 All right. Water. Water. How about we leave it alone? Do we need to do anything we here? Need to no, I don't I think so. I think water. I think the Oni itself is a sacrifice. Well, hold on. Handprints. Put water on it. Well, hold on. Give, somebody give me a knife. I, ha- I have a knife. I, oh, okay. Right. I'll just stab it. Stop. Him. Right before you go to do that, you hear a, like a loud thunder clap. And in your face is the methyl's face, but covered in war paint from the Oni's blood. And she's right in your face, and then flashes out. <laughs> oh, God, you <coughs> in your nose? The, that stuff was pretty rank. Mm-hmm. Oh. I think it's in his sinuses. Oh, it would clear him out. Hold, hold whoa, uh, Bill. I believe this mess is... Oh. Uh, breeding some hallucinogenic See fungus. <laughs> I'm gonna roll insight instead on Kieran. Fourteen. <laughs> um, this is a, obviously a holy place that someone is trying to desecrate. I got a twelve. Oh, I, I'm not trying to desecrate yeah, it. You need to stop. I got a twelve. With... Kieran is full of shit as always. I don't know. You need I'm to, not you totally need sure of what I just saw. Where did you get that knife? Is that knife possessed? No, we're not doing this shit again. No, just stop what you're doing. 
<laughs> well, don't we have to like? No, we don't have to do anything. Right. Leave it alone. <laughs> if I take that knife away from you, let's you get just crazy let him me? have the knife. Well, <laughs> oh god, it's like let him have the axe. It's, it's just, just a little. Let him have the axe. Well, the, all the axes no more. Well, I mean, it's somewhere on the axe. Let's go. No more. We don't okay. need to be here. <laughs> Let's go, everybody. This is taken care of. Let's mark this one off the list. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Hey. Okay, so early. I don't morning. understand any of this, but all right. Um, I would say this is mid morning. It took you guys a while to walk to this district. What district are you going to next? Which one do we check off? Um, we the Caldor. So we have really, we can walk to any one of the three we have around. I think um, it's time to make a score answer for his crimes. Oh, sure, oh, let's uh, do that. I get to go be put on trial, wonderful. Yes. Okay, that would be Thiel. Can you read that one again? Another highly guarded portion of Etsy de Seldarine is the Thiel district. Law enforcement is common between many government uh, offices, judicial courts, and jailhouses. Vandria Gilmandrith it has a strong presence in this district, looking after even the criminals of the city to that. Justice may be served and redemption can be gained. While there are several private courts, there is a large stadium for public hearings and debates. That may be what you'll be interested in in the Thiel district, as most of the residential and commercial neighborhoods are gated off, restricted for important individuals who serve at Teddy Silvery. I mean, sure, they're gated off, but, like, I have a broom, you know? Well... I'm just speaking hypothetically. I don't think we'll have a problem. I don't really... We could probably open any gates that are closed. I don't really intend on doing it, but, you know... You know? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. See you guys head into the field district, which you can tell was full of huge monuments, uh, statues to elven kings, elven queens, um, elven heroes, and again, it's it's another set of you know, sunken in arenas that you can go to. Um, many of the buildings that now are missing their tops and their walls also had sunken in arenas, so you can really pick whichever one you'd like. If you'd like to go to the largest one that is open to you. I would love to go to the largest one. Okay. You guys head to this bright, wide open space um, with great views of the waterfalls and the sky and trees and cliffs. And it's just, it's meant to be for those people who have to watch a five day trial. At least they have something nice to look at in the meantime or fresh air to breathe or whatever it is that is needed to get you through something that agonizing. So, in the center of the arena, there are several pedestals, um, seats, tables. Uh, you can tell that there's a long table that was meant to host all of the judges that would be up there, or another section that is meant for all of the defendants and all of the prosecutors. And then there's all of the rows for spectators and um, not really a jury in this situation, but... You guys can decide what role you want to take and where you want to place yourselves, and you can have opening words to open this ritual, and then go about your plan to put someone on trial and punish them. Well, as I am A, the most impartial, and B, the most well-versed here in ancient elven law... Obviously. Obviously. I should be the judge. I'm going to go and sit in the judge's chair. So that's the thing, though, is I know nothing about ancient elven law. Then you should clearly not be the judge. I was thinking I clearly shouldn't be the uh, pr uh, attorney. What? There's two attorneys. There's the prosecutor. Well, there's only three of us. And there's the defendant. Mm. The defendant defends himself. So you're going to be the prosecutor, no, you're no. going to be the defendant, and I'll be the judge. Why are you the judge? Because if you impress me... Then I'll choose your side, and if Ixidor makes his case, then I'll choose his side. But if you impress me, I can choose your side. Have you considered that? Yeah, but you've, you've got the better grip. I'm going to go sit in the judge's chair. <laughs> Ixidor sits in the judge's chair. Who's Most, next? There's oh. several judge chairs. I'm going to sit in the largest one. 
the one that's meant for the Vandria priest. Yep. Hold on now, I object. Well, uh, he overruled. He is a priest. <laughs> what is your, where is your, what's your degree from, my good man? Uh, the Cormantia University. Are you accredited by the, uh... Obviously. <laughs> Do you have a license? They're in my other coat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to lodge a I will hold you in contempt! And I start smacking something, my <laughs> fist on the, on the stonework. Actually, you know what? You're not a priest. I'm an acolyte, I suppose. You're a paladin. Mm. I'm a druid. I'm a priest. Druids Get up. I'm sitting are in. historically law speakers. What? Druids. Maybe among gnomes. Yeah, gnomish druids. They read law books. I mean, All right, get up. I'm sitting down. I'm just going to start nudging him out. <laughs> the chair is big enough that Paul can be fit in it. I sit down. <laughs> And just shove him over to the side. All right. So <laughs> there's two judges and one defendant. Yeah, start defending. That doesn't seem fair. And wait a minute. I'm obviously the prosecutor because I've done nothing wrong. So play both roles. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it works best that way. Why not? Do you have a law degree? Do you want to roll the push or not? Yes. No, no, I don't need to. Okay. I just want to point out that you are awfully quick to sit into the judge's chair. Yep. What are you hiding? I'm not hiding anything. I have nothing to worry about. Oh, you're hiding something. I don't know what you're talking about. You you really are guilty, aren't you? What, a guilty of what? I don't know, why don't you tell us? I'm not guilty of anything, hence why I'm not being the defendant. So you can lie to us, but you cannot lie to the gods. A paladin has the most to worry about being guilty. Like, I won't suddenly stop forgetting how to build a machine, and Kieran won't stop for, won't suddenly forget what a plant is, but you, you might forget how to do your divine smite if you lie. Or how to cut off the heads of prisoners. Yes. Yeah, exactly. How to cut off the heads of prisoners. Hence That's, why you need to be the defendant. I don't recall doing any war crimes. You were in a war, weren't you? I didn't cut off any prisoners' heads. How do we know that? Do you have any evidence? Because, you know, we've got evidence against you. Yes. I think oh, no. you're on trial here. And I, an eyewitness is not... That's inadmissible. Well, see, I'm the judge, and I say it is... As am I. Yes, so uh, you're on trial, so clearly you can't be the judge at your own trial. Why not? Uh, because uh, you would not be impartial. Oh, obviously. I agree. That's why Phlebotomus needs to be on trial, so I can't be impartial. No, you, you're <laughs> clearly not impartial when it comes to me. You're the defendant. That's fair. Okay, you're the up. prosecutor. <laughs> well, that's all that took. <laughs> okay. What roles are y'all taking? Uh, uh, clearly, I'm the judge. I will be the prosecutor. I'm the defendant. All rise! I'm already risen. Good, good. Forward thinking. I like that. Now address the audience. It is I, the Honorable Archjid, here in Argyle Flanagan the Fence. One second, one second, stop everything. I, take, I will hold you in contempt. Just one second. <laughs> I take my figurine of wondrous power, Serpentine Owl, out. I run over to the spectator stand. I put the figurine there, and I run back. So now we have one spectator. <laughs> okay, I love it. I telepathically tell my, my stag <laughs> to go up and join the owl. <laughs> <laughs> Jury of my peers, right? Hey, yes, exactly. Is the owl, like, out, or is it just the figurine? Are you I, activating it? I don't think I can activate it, because I activated it Recently. less than two days ago, yeah. So we just have a Wait, small figurine Did you activate here. it before or after you guys dedicated... Oh, that's right, it didn't... Oh, you were, right. You're right. It was okay. Fun. Yeah. So you have a, a figurine and a stag. Okay. 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 Oh, where was I? I'll, I'll, I'll start over. It's all right. <clears throat> all rise... Still risen. <laughs> it is I, the Honorable Judge and Archjude, Kieran Argyle Flanagan, proceeding over this trial today. Woo, hooray, yay, woo, yay, hooray. Thank you, that is most deserved. <laughs> <laughs> what is the trial of? Uh, prosecutor, you may present uh, your charges. Okay. DM, DM, DM. I remember the killing the prisoner. What was the other bad thing he did? <laughs> okay. 
Roll a history. Oh god. Uh, guidance. <laughs> I just give myself a pat on the back. Yeah. Find your memory. Oh, there we go. Um, that is 20... Four, five, six, 27. Okay. Wow. He has killed several unarmed people. Um, he, he's been, um, I guess, overly. What is it called when a when a when a police officer is overly violent? Is that brutality? Uh, uh, okay. It's 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 called like unneeded brutality. Oh, excessive force. Excessive, excessive force. force. Thank you. Use excessive force on several people that you were fighting. Alright. So uh, um, what? Cut what the head the off charges? of a prisoner. And um, what other bad things has Ixeldor done? Um, Forgot to wipe a couple times. No. <laughs> it was very brutal. That's its own punishment. <laughs> <laughs> it itches later. <laughs> I'm trying. God. I'm trying to think. I think that's all you've done. You killed the Duragar. You killed the Nereid. What else did you kill? The Duragar was pretty brutal. I think that was. The Nereid was a bitch. The du- Duragar and the Nereid. I think are the two big ones. Um, that's it. You tend to start fights with things before they actually start with you, so you you initiate fights very often. Even when you fought Agatha's corpse, you initiated that fight. It did not. It was speaking with you. Yeah, because it wanted to turn me into a lich. It needed it asked, to go. It asked you if you wanted to turn into a lich. Um, but there, so those are all the things that I'm just reminding for a lot of us. Yes. The 27. Those are all the things you can think of. So choose your charge. Your Honor. The prosecution would like to indict Ixeldor Morthorn for the crimes of... You have a last name? I do. Holy shite. Uh, please continue. Crimes including but not limited to the summary execution of unarmed prisoners, the use of excessive force in combat with sentient beings, um... In general, excessive brutality on becoming of a paladin. Um, Is that all? Violence, nastiness. Um, How does the defendant plead? Guilty. What? All right, we're done here. And so you are guilty, you get a charge uh, no, to no, life in prison. No, no, you death. have to do a sentence, sentence in here. Death, 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 death. So you propose death. Defendant, what punishment do you propose? Death. <laughs> my, my crimes have already been paid for. Death, death. Okay, death. And you can argue that in a second. Death. Okay, so we are here to uh, hold a hearing of sentencing for the crimes of... Uh, I believe it was excessive brutality, the illegal uh, execution of prisoners. Unarmed prisoners. Unarmed prisoners. Uh, I feel I feel like perhaps we need a little bit of context to determine a proper uh, sentencing. Please recite your paladin code. Go ahead and Google it real quick. What do you have it of? What's also the ancients? Yeah, but pull the player's handbook. What, the, the, the tenants? That's yeah. what you want? Yeah, that's it. The tenants of the paladin code of the ancient paladins. Oh, okay. He's not that old. That was butchered. <laughs> Nobody provided me with any alternative. <laughs> um, through your acts of mercy, kindness, and forgiveness, kindle the light of the uh, hope, <laughs> world, defeating back despair. <laughs> Mercy. Mercy, kindness, forgiveness. Uh, sorry. Kindness. Uh, ki- kindness. Yeah. Beats that, back despair. That's it. <laughs> Was uh, kindness in your thing beating, this whole time? Be- yeah. There's. Oh, I do everything. I do out of kindness. <laughs> Your Honor, I motioned that... No, that's not the only one. Uh, There's more. Oh, okay. Continue, continue. Um, Where there is good, beauty, love, and laughter in the world, (laughs) stand against the wickedness that would swallow it. Mm -hmm. Where life flourishes, stand against the forces that would render it barren. Delight in song, laughter, and beauty in art. If you allow the light to die in your own heart, you can't preserve it in the world. 
and be a glorious beacon for all who live in despair. Let the light of, you, of your joy and courage shine forth in all of your deeds. All right. Well, there's no argument to be had here. He did plead guilty. Uh, this is just a sentencing hearing. Uh, so, uh, death. I have given my penance. So. Tear out his heart and sacrifice it to the death god. Are, are you suggesting a sentence of time served? Yes. Uh, okay, on what grounds? I have already been given forgiveness by my god. I still have my abilities. Objection, objection, your honor. Although he may have been forgiven by his god in a temporal sense, in a secular sense, he has not been punished for his crimes, and that's what we're trying him for. What crime did I did I truly commit? Murdering an unarmed prisoner? Um, um, under what law? Well, we are here in Eta de Seldarin. Do you know the laws of this city? Don't kill all our prisoners. How do you know that? Oh, that's a pretty universal law. Also, I'm the judge. Fuck you. It's common. <laughs> <sighs> Where's your holy symbol? Planted. It's a tree now. No armor. It's, uh, it's on your armor. Yeah, using that now. How's that? How's that looking? Does it look cracked? No, it's fine. It looks fine? Hmm. Is there anyone here who could speak for the tree god? <laughs> well, it's unanimous then. I cast a divination. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Has Ixeldor Morthorn been forgiven in the eyes of the oak be, uh, oak daddy. <laughs> Damn it. I object to your... <laughs> Everything upon an answer. <laughs> this is hard. Divination's really hard. Some birds fly over, and they land all around the edge of the arena. And after they sit and preen and think for a little bit, all of them fly off except for one. Of all your sins and transgressions against goodness, there is one axe that you need to be punished for. Which one? Um, it's the thirteenth one. We've named two. Well, you've clearly done nasty things Some before you met us. What? What are you referring I to? I haven't been around you since you were a baby. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm just going to say it's the beheading of the uh, uh, buried, helpless, un unarmed prisoner. I will be honest. I will be perfectly honest. As you should be. You are in courtroom. As a lawyer, this whole religious mumbo-jumbo holds no relevance. We are here to determine the facts, not, not, not... Religious mumbo-jumbo. In a gods, temple to go, a god. Gods do walk among us. You, you do realize this. That's immaterial to the point at hand. We <laughs> are discussing laws. We are discussing laws made by people. The gods, while they it is part of their sphere, do not necessarily have the authority to judge mortal crimes. If, say, a man was put on trial for murder... And the god, um, the god, fuck, what's the god of justice name? What about the Vandria. god? Vandria. is a... If, say, Vandria walked in the temple, or walked in the courtroom and said, well, he murdered someone, but, you know, he said he was sorry, it's all good, that would not be in accordance with the laws. Uh... As the judge, I find this position to be a bit silly, but... Uh, if it makes you feel any better, I am taking part in rebuilding a city that was once destroyed. But Is that are... not 
also giving back to the city in which I'm being judged through? Oh, community service. However, he is doing that of his own free will. Incident to as community service should be. Incident to the crime he committed. It was not itself punishment for the crime. It's something he would have done anyways. Okay, that's a fair argument. Well, actually, we, we did come here specifically to do that, so it would have been something that he would have done in his own spare time. Yes. All right, so... We also haven't gone for help, though. We're doing it all by ourselves. I, I think that's immaterial to the fact that... You I think we could have gone. I think we could have gone back to Reeve Twina and brought all those refugees back to help, and I think they would have been more than happy to do so. Certainly, but at the same time, that holds no bearing to the fact that this was not a punishment for you. You're doing this out of your own free will. Correct, but I'm doing it by myself. I don't. I'm going to be honest. I, um, I kind of see both points in this argument, but uh, I believe the main point of uh, defense that you made was that you had been forgiven by your god for all of your transgressions, but there is one. I could not tell you which one it would be. But it would be cutting off the head of uh, Mm -hmm. an unarmed prisoner. You don't know which one. Well, see, this is why I believe we should leave the religious element out of it entirely. Um, well, he's on trial for that, so... Ultimately, we are not the ones to decide. Oh, no, I, am. God, I, I mean, I, I, I am. I what am. I am the, the judge. Go- no, no, no. What the god thinks, we are deciding in the secular matter here. This is a medieval society. Religion is a part of law. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is no anti-establishmentarianism here. So, again, you guys have already decided he's guilty. It's about sentencing. All right. How much punishment does he deserve? Hmm. And what should the punishment be? Well, I will lower my punishment down from death because honestly, that's about. I've been useful to you. I would not be useful to you dead. I already said I'm going to lower it from death. (laughs) You don't need to argue for me to lower it to death more. Um. How about? Oh, I know. I just wanted to tell you how wrong you were to suggest that in the first place. (laughs) Uh, no. Agreed. No. Good. The defense motion, the prosecution motions for that to be stricken from the record. Oh, don't worry. I'm not keeping the record. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> my suggestion is that we find a stockade, we put him in the stockade, and we toss rotted tomatoes at him. That's quite a good medieval. The prosecution believes that uh, public humiliation is an appropriate sentencing for. Uh, the execution of an unarmed, helpless prisoner. We're a medieval society, aren't we? D- would you prefer instead we had him drawn and quartered? Or perhaps broken on the wheel? Well, he's not a prisoner of war. <laughs> we could hang him. Again with the death? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously none of the suggestions I put forth are any good. They're not reasonable. Well, what's not reasonable about throwing tomatoes at you? No, I think that's entirely reasonable. Well, let's stop and consider the... uh, Actually, it doesn't really matter what I think. I'm just a (laughs) fellow. Let's just stop to consider the weight and the gravity of the life lost. Okay, let's do that. The highly magical, uh, fae-like entity, right? I. Do you have any thoughts on that? She was evil. Causes a whole deal. Well, you know. The entire reason we were here fighting a corrupted missile was all because of her. Hmm. The, the GM is nodding there. The GM is nodding there. God agrees with you. Fuck. God agrees with you. Did, I'm did you not see me <laughs> nodding? So then, uh, we're looking at the messy execution of a public enemy number one, then. Okay, let's move past the that element. We don't know if it's that. It could be something else. It could be some other crime he's done. 
Well, okay. So, I did jaywalk a hold bit. Hold on. We're getting off base. You guys are currently having a trial for him killing, executing a prisoner, an unarmed prisoner. Okay. The, the thing that his god hasn't forgiven him for, you're right, could be anything. But it doesn't matter what it is if it's not the thing he's currently on trial for. Okay, so we are indeed trying That's for why a secular reason and not for the divine reason, yeah. I just wanted to call out the paladin being holier than I am. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I am holier than he is. I mean, yeah. Does so. anyone have an honest suggestion for a punishment? Give me like five seconds. Five, four, three, two. How about 30 seconds instead? One, zero. I'm sorry. You want to think out loud? Don't interrupt him. Let him think. Okay. Well, we've decided that death is too much. We have to figure out, and throwing tomatoes at him is a little too little. So we have to figure out, well, what is an appropriate punishment for something that he thought was within his within his reasonable rights of his position. So it was an enemy of the state. Yes. It was a, uh, a worshipper of an evil god. Mm-hmm. And, and he thought he was doing the right thing, but it was... I think we can also argue that it was motivated by his anger in the moment. So it's not even that he executed an unarmed prisoner. It's that... How do I put it? It's almost like he had the right to do that, it's a matter of he did it slightly prematurely. He did it before um, talking to the rest of you about it. So it's almost like his crime is much more minor than you originally thought. Because if he was in his right well, he's to tr- execute he, he's... an enemy of the state, then it's just a matter of what part of it did he do wrong? Did he do it too quickly? Did he do it without asking you? Did he do it without scheduling it? I think his intentions were driven more so by anger at the situation, then perhaps, well, this is the right moral thing to do in the moment. So then, for your lack of self-restraint, your punishment will be three hours of self-flagellation. I was going to say we restrain his, his arms in handcuffs and like to his feet or something so that he will be restrained when he was not restrained. For just like a day or something. I just... I want to bring something up to... You guys are being really serious and you are the silliest characters, <laughs> so it's really weird. Um, I am a judge! <laughs> so, <laughs> the other thing is, um, Vandria is the goddess of redemption. So, you can honestly be as silly as you want to be with the punishment if you think it will redeem him. Well, I think my decided punishment has to do with what we've decided the offense is. So, um, so you're saying that self-flagellation is too much? I know. I think, think it's, it's unrealistic. It's not that it's too much. Well, it's realistic. You take the whip and you go... Oh, yeah. We've all done it. What? Wait, whip. Well, you know, a scourge. You know, like cat, cat or nine tails. Cat or nine. Oh, I thought you meant fought yourself until you poop. What? Self... Flat flatulence? Not self. Self-fl- no, 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 not self flatulence. <laughs> self flagellation. Oh, it must be a, Listen, a very wild thing. The punishment. The punishment has to fit the crime. So self flagellation, while hardcore and epic, does not fit the crime. I thought that would be a right up his alley. It would definitely be up his alley, but not in this instance. I think that if the issue was a lack of restraint, then restraining him has a sort of poetic sort of something, something to it. All right, we're going to hang him by his ankles by a rope, spin him until the rope gets too tight to sp- to uh, wind up anymore, and then just let him go. That's perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's find the highest point in the city. <laughs> <laughs> May I uh, issue a counterpoint? Uh, you have the floor. How about you just put me in handcuffs in front of me so I can still work, and I just do that for the rest of the day to show restraint? Objection that doesn't fucking restrain him. It's fucking... Sustained! <laughs> it, I mean, it, it, if we're putting something on you I mean, that will can... not get in the way of you working, it's effectively not restrain, restraining you at all. 
I mean, no, I think we need to make you dizzy and sick. It has to be a punishment. It can't just be an no, inconvenience. You can put them on trial for cruel and unusual punishment later if you so choose. Oh, that will definitely be happening. You could threaten it now if you want. I think this is against the Geneva Convention. <laughs> what is a Geneva? Oh, I knew a Geneva once. This is cruel and unusual. I really don't think that, that this is going to cause the outcome in which you are Let hoping for. Let the punishment for. fit the crime. Okay, so the we have the crime. time in the stockades with us throwing vegetables at you, or fruit, or whatever. That doesn't fit the crime. Okay. Uh, hang him upside down and let him spin. You can suggest punishment. That too. fits the crime. Lock me in a room for a day. Put me in a cell. A whole day. A whole day. That does fit the crime, but also it's kind of whatever, you know? Also a fine. 100 gold fine. To me. No. I'm the judge. The, the <laughs> fines, that's, 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 um... That's to Vandria, yeah, I that's will give corrupt. this time. But oh, well, you. sure. That, that yeah. works. That works for me. I just figured... I mean, I don't really understand the value of gold. I figure that's like... No, that's actually wildly corrupt. You shouldn't do that as a judge. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you would know. You almost bribed Panette, the uh, secretary <laughs> in Oakhurst, <laughs> with your letter to Paylor. Wildly unbecoming. One day in the jail, and, and a 100 gold fine <laughs> as a tithe to Van- Van- Vanessa. Vandria. Van- Vandria. <laughs> okay, so you guys have to go find... <laughs> A jail. Oh, uh, please probably... conclude the ritual. Okay, so saith I, Lord Archjud, Kieran Argyle Flanagan, the Honorable Judge. Now it is time to carry out the sentence. Okay, I'm Grab the ca- prisoner. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to cast in large person on myself. <laughs> oh, good. You're as tall as I am now. Weird. Okay. The I'm pr- the bailiff. You're coming with me. <laughs> 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 get to wa- Can you imagine being escorted by a bailiff wandering up and down the streets trying to find a jailhouse? <laughs> just be like, where are we going? Shut up! <laughs> are we there yet? Your Honor, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, I'm not the judge anymore. Are we there yet? There's no rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys gotta roll investigation. No. I thought you were gonna say roll the hit. No! <laughs> I got a oh. natural 20. <laughs> I, I, it's my bail of powers. I got 18. I'm gonna That's give you bad. I'm gonna give you several options. You choose whichever one you like the best. You find um, a few buildings that are mostly filled in with dirt and rubble so that he has a square foot that he can stand in, otherwise it's just dirt. Um, so you just shut the door in his face and he stands there. <laughs> or there's a jail, you, it's got bars. But the top is totally blown off, and the back has no, there's no wall. So it's just bars and a door and bars, and he would just stand on the other side of the bars. <laughs> there's nothing keeping him in. Okay. Or you could find some empty rooms. Uh, do, do you see an outhouse? Keep me in the hat. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, the hat is technically Not out of the city. Uh, where, is, where is an outhouse? Um, are there any outhouses nearby? Uh, Yes, that's a yes. No, I'm going to go use an outhouse, excuse the, me. There's no standing outhouses anymore. You could find where some could have been plotted next to a house or next to a public okay. space. Mending. But we're talking spell plague twice in 150 years. Of so the first, mm. um, the first option is definitely cruel and unusual. The second is more on the honor system. But I imagine Who is more on the honor than a paladin? Yeah, I don't imagine Ixeldor is going to be a flight risk. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put him in the second one, the jail with no walls. So Ixeldor, you see Phlebotomus lead you to a jail with no walls, <laughs> and he opens the... Get in. <laughs> yes, sir. Walk in. You can't do the time. I sit down on a piece of rubble. <laughs> Don't do the crime. <laughs> you close it. Don't you escape now. <laughs> Oh no, how will I ever <laughs> contend with myself in here? And we're watching you, pal. I pull hey, out a book and I just... <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna... Oh no, that's contraband. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, 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 that was not, that was not discussed during sentencing. It's I can not discussed book. during so- yeah, sentencing. Yeah, no, of course not. I'm just gonna walk Aren't around you all work to do? into the cell. <laughs> I'm gonna start hitting him with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Stop resisting. Take, take. Stop resisting. <laughs> no, 
Yeah. Take his armor, take his pack, take his weapons. If you're in a prison, you're gonna be in a prison. Go meditate. <laughs> okay, leave me my priestly things then. Stop, Stop resisting. Sir. Fine, that's that's fair. <laughs> grab the stick. He's just lightly tapping you, like, Stop Prison resisting. Riot. Prison Riot. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is police brutality. I'm uh, I'm not a police officer anymore. I'm a prison guard. Oh, so you're just beating <laughs> a prisoner then? You are no better than I am. Well, well, the difference is that you're on this side of the cell and I'm not. Also, he's not killing <laughs> you. <laughs> like, my my friend, the door is closed. And I came in because you were uh, resisting. How could I resist on the inside of a jail cell with contraband? <laughs> Why, why are we all of a sudden deciding that everything I have on my person is contraband after I've already been locked in here? You could use it to uh, stop Hang it yourself. Yes, uh, oh, yes, obviously, <laughs> from what room? <laughs> That's a valid argument. <laughs> I want to hang myself after listening to this nonsense. I mean, I could find some bed sheets. Overruled. <laughs> Will you two keep working on the city, please, and let me to my punishment? There's some rich people houses here, right? Yeah. Maybe Obviously. they have some recipe books that I could acquire. Hmm. Yeah. You guys want to go rummaging around? Sure. Yeah. Let's just go roll some investigations for you. Uh, open my book back up and start reading. <laughs> <laughs> That's contraband. Uh, guidance for uh, Kieran. <laughs> Get a plus one to investigation, but okay. All right, I, I'll do that. I mean, if you don't want it, I can just take it back. I think you should. <laughs> oh god, I kind of need it. I got a nine. I got, with guidance, I got... 14. You thinking 14 isn't enough. No. I'm specifically looking for a deck of many things. Does that add to the DC any? Just a tad bit. You <laughs> find... Do the, do the cards just disappear when you pull them? Yes. Yep. Okay. Actually, they, um... If you're going rules as written, they get added back to the deck. Okay. Um... You find... What looks to be a drawing of a card... From a deck of many things. What the fuck? Ripped in half. Why is this here? <laughs> I, okay, um, hey Kieran, cast mending on this. What, you got the other half? Yep. Mending? Now you have a drawing of a card from the deck of many things. What card? The void. The void. I was actually thinking, um, I was actually thinking the death card. The one where it summons. It summons an avatar of death. Yes, yeah. I want that one. Oh, sick. So someone must have drawn the card, like, and then drew it from memory, and it was in some archive, and yeah, who fucking knows. So they drew the card, and then they drew the card. Yes. Okay. Um, good to In know. that order. I, I go back to the cell real quick. Psst. Hey, buddy, someone sent you something on the outside. <laughs> it's yours for five copper. <laughs> go away. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so... I'm it's... gonna fold it into a paper airplane and throw it at his <laughs> Okay, roll the hit. Uh, I'm not proficient in paper airplanes. No. No. It's gonna be really random. I got a natural one. <laughs> so it goes, like, wait, do I have to see how bad it is? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. It's just paper. I wanted to hit you in the head. Roll. Um, so that's gonna be a 16. It would still hit him in it the does, head. It doesn't hit him in the eye. It doesn't do damage. It just mm -hmm. hits you in the head. <laughs> and you watch this. I just watch this. It sadly flutters down. Yeah. Hey, I have an idea. Let me see that. Okay. Alright. I'm going to throw it and cast Druid Craft to puff air underneath it. I'm not throwing it to anyone. I just want to keep poofing. Poof, You're poof, just watching poof, them fuck around poof. outside the bars. <laughs> That's really Oh, neat. we're not going to get anything done today, are we? The sun is going down. So it is time to take another rest. You guys did a lot of walking. Um, and you have a knight in a jail cell. Okay, so we're going to have to take shifts to make sure he doesn't try anything funny. Uh, oh, all right. You mean our nightly watches? Maybe. <laughs> you want me to take one too? 
But make sure you don't do anything funny now. <laughs> oh, oh, obviously. No, I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to put my uh, serpentine owl at the edge of the cell to watch him and make sure he doesn't do anything funny. I mean, it was one of the peers, so sure. Your deer is just lying outside. He walks door. around to the back and <laughs> comes into the jail cell with me, and I just start petting him. Oh, cute. Um, contraband. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Uh, Isildur, do you want to do any reflection while you're in your jail cell? Like, you're on a timeout, you want to think about what you did? Sure, I've thought about what I've done. I've been doing a lot of thinking about what I've done. What I did was wrong, I know that. Do you have anything that lets you pray to your god and figure out if, if he's still mad at you about that? I mean, I have my incense and my censer. Mm-hmm. I but can cast doesn't... ceremony, but there's not really anything that I can do there. You don't get a response from that. No. Okay. I, I'm not that high a level of paladin yet, unfortunately. Okay. But you still have all of your spells and all of your powers, so you think you're forgiven. Or at least tolerated. I'll take what I can get. Do you remember when you were praying to remove the curse from Kieran? And you said something along the lines of you had done wrong. You said something like you weren't there for your friends and you hadn't done a good job. And you heard a whisper in your ears that said, you're wrong. Any thought on that now? Well, I still have this feeling of failure. Even though you were told you were wrong for feeling that way? I still feel like I've done something wrong. I still feel like I need to... Is this not enough to feel like you've atoned? Is this not enough to relieve you of your guilt? You've actually been sentenced. <laughs> You're actually doing have I Have I been, though, really? Yeah. Well, you think anyone could just become a judge? No, of course not. As you're sitting there mumbling to yourself in the prison, in the dark, you realize there's a figure sitting next to you, and the questions that you're asking yourself in your head, you realize you weren't the one asking them. You realize there was a whisper from a female elven figure sitting next to you. Are you still sitting there? She's still sitting there. What do you think? I'm sure of opinion. There's something I haven't been forgiven for. I know that. Redemption means being redeemed by all those who you matter to. It sounds to me like the only one you haven't redeemed yourself in the eyes of is yourself. What would it take? It's odd. I feel like this guilt is my own punishment. Something I need to live with for a little bit longer before I can finally be free of it. That feeling of, of sadness and despair is... It's one's own way of punishing themselves, isn't it? She stands up in front of you. And you look up at her. She raises a hand and she smacks you across the <laughs> face. Is she the one that did that? Okay. You're committing another crime by over punishing yourself. You think so? Okay. Maybe you're right. She fades out into the darkness. And you're left alone with your sleeping stag. Do you sleep tonight? Yeah. You sleep in your prison cell. The cold chills of wind hitting you. As there's no ceiling or walls. And your friends are snoring. 
which also makes it harder to sleep and is more of a punishment. <laughs> but morning comes, and the birds start singing again with the sunrise, and your friends wake up, and you have about half a day left in your prison cell. Would you guys like to check on your charge? Well, I suppose we better make sure he doesn't he didn't flee. Can I wake up before them? Sure. I want to make it look like I am myself. <laughs> like, okay, I have an idea for this, though. Can I give you an idea? Yeah. You wrap I fabric have... around the bars Wait. and around your neck, and then you just keep spinning until it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. For the record, I don't sleep. I'm already awake. Yeah, but he's, like, faced away from me, meditating. Yeah. His eyes are closed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, four hours ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would have done this he while I'm contemplating. Look... Yeah. yeah. Okay. While I'm contemplating my own existence, well, yeah. performance. Okay. Brand. 19. Yeah, you make it look like you uh, tightened the fabric around your throat so tight that you suffocated yourself and you're laying down there with your head crooked up against the side of the bars. Tongue out. <laughs> Karen, you wake up, check on your charge. Phlebotomist, you wake up, check on your charge. Roll an insight of a dirty 20. Okay, that is higher than the performance, <laughs> but let's pretend that no one knows that. Insight. I'm four. Okay, so you think he hung himself? <laughs> that wasn't him. He didn't act alone. Uh, well, you're the bailiff, so go do your thing. I'm gonna find who killed him. <laughs> uh, I, I think we know who killed him. Ixeldor didn't kill himself. Well, who did then? I By got, the way, what there. did he hang from? There's no ceiling. He's just sitting there with his arm up in the air. <laughs> no, he's on the ground with it around the bars. Oh, oh, oh okay. Right. Well, I guess the first thing to do is to, uh, I guess, cut him off of that. Okay. So I'm going to go up to him with my plus one dagger, try to shimmy my knife in between the neck <laughs> and the... Uh, Which makes <laughs> you feel very uncomfortable. With uh, that. I'm fine. <laughs> just cut, it, cut him free from it. Okay. Fall over. <laughs> well, should we just bury him here? <sighs> I can make a grave. <laughs> you know, let's put him in the bag of holding. Can I? <laughs> can I get flo- floating the astral sea for can, can I grab Flobotomus's <laughs> ankle from here? Okay. Uh, how do we roll to scare? What would we? Uh, intimidation. Okay, roll intimidation. Well, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna trip him while I do it. Okay, <laughs> roll uh, insight. We get advantage because he doesn't see it coming. No. <laughs> it is a sneak attack. Intimidation. Yes. Nineteen. Three. <laughs> Someone oh. grabs your hand. Ah! <laughs> you fall back <laughs> into zombies. <laughs> um, you're right. I have been learning from you. The power of Garl compels you. <laughs> what are you doing? He's going to eat my flesh. So you're. The parl of Garl. The parl of Garl. Powell. Well, Powell. Power. Powell. You do, Powell. You do it in X? Yes. Is there an X in Gar- Glargle? This, this must be the holy symbol. I, 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 I. This is like crossed hammers. I just got scared, okay? How's this supposed to protect you? Pretty nice. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a rock at here. <laughs> Roll the hit. Uh, advantage. <laughs> Why? 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 Because I rolled three. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter with your roll. Ixeldor, you're still in the prison, so you still have half a day. All right. Oh, well, He's trying to fake his own death to escape. We have to, I, I'm gonna oh, use, come now. I'm going to use uh, molders to create a grave. Uh, if, if you I'm s- standing up. Should you so decide, I prepared that for you. Oh, thank you. Just Wait, in can't case. can't you just mold earth to make earthen walls? I wouldn't desecrate a holy jail. A holy jail? What's holy about this jail? The, the hole that I put in there's it. There's a hole there, there's yes. a hole in the wall. There's no wall over here. <laughs> That's one big hole if you think about it. I'm being conspired against by the prisoners and the state. <laughs> Who are you going to write a write letter, a letter. this time? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Write a letter to Vanessa. Two Corellian Lothelion. <laughs> <laughs> Your city is a crock of shit. <laughs> oh, look, 
a letter from a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> right in the circular file. Uh. <laughs> okay, so you finish out your prison sentence with everyone bickering and everyone pulling a bunch of bullshit. Um, we can go ahead and end the episode there. Okay, thank you so much for the role play that I so desired. Um, <laughs> you got what? Did you get what you wanted? Yes, thank you. Okay, we can finish up this episode of Downstairs and Dragons with another pillar completed. You guys see that at the midday mark, when it's time for him to leave the prison cell, you see a flash in the area, like a bright light on top of the sunlight that illuminates every shadow. And you feel that you have accomplished something. So, we will see you next time on Downstairs and Dragons, where we have a few more pillars waiting for us. Let's see if we can get them done this session. That's my goal, so we can get on to the next story. We'll see you next time, downstairs. And dragons. <laughs>